auf ist, das ist was wir Cola Red Snapper. It's a very soft and flaky meat. And it's very juicy. Then we have the yellow pearl. It's a very firm fish. Uh, but it's good for the braai, for curry, everything. And then we have the sea bream. Mm. It's a bit bony, but it's also a very nice fish. Okay. Then we have other varieties like the cat salmon, cabalio, mm. snook. Snook mm. is our favorite fish. Yeah. For the local people, yes, the most popular fish around here, so we're still waiting on the snook to come in. Yeah. Then we have the hike and cat salmon, the mm. couple yo. Yeah. And some smoked snook we have also, yeah. Okay. Very nice with, uh, with toast bread. Yeah. And we have some dry fish. It's hanging, yeah, eh? Okay. Yes, that's how dry fish is. Okay. And tell me about this area, a little bit history of this area. Where you guys are staying? Uh, so, Cold Bay, according to my understanding, was first the uh, Malay people, was mm. the first people here. Mm. Uh, the Malaysian, so... If, if you can look up there, there's the fishing community right. in the flats. Okay, okay. Then yes, then yes, the in the background. There's the people stay, yes, the colored people. Yes. And then there's a lot of foreigners staying also up there. And mm. Basically, that, that is called by us. Uh, the best place in Cape Town. Okay, yes. And then you got on this end, you got Cape Point as well, right? Yeah, if you go this way, you get Simon's Town, you mm. get uh, Muller's Point, then you can drive around to Cape Point, then you get uh, out by. Yes. And you can drive right around, you're going to Waterfront, okay. Granger Bay, and all that other places. Well, uh, this is the most popular place here at the moment. So hopefully the people watching this video will know where to come when they want to yeah, uh, get uh, some fresh fish. <laughs> it will help us, yes, because yeah. we have a lot of people from Durban, Taupo. Yeah. And all around the world the people come here, especially to Polkis to eat. It's a very famous place. Yeah. Okay. And is this your... This is my mommy, yes. Okay. Your name is? Evangeline. Evangeline, that's a lovely name. <laughs> and how long have you been in this business as well? Over 30 years. 30 years, yeah. I've eh? been working with the training fish, mm. selling fish. Okay, that's really awesome. I know this place very well. I know the people coming mm. here, people going here. Yes. Every day, lots of people coming and going, especially now. Yeah. Tourists that come in here. Okay, yeah. fish boats. Yeah. Okay. People fish off the spear. Yeah, you can fish off the spear. Yeah. Okay. You can catch maybe a couple of toes. Oh, nice, nice. So we go fish. I like this place because it's small, it's compact. It's right. Not like the other place. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is crayfish. Crayfish, eh? See, this is the crayfish. Crayfish. So they're busy prepping, they're going to Saldana Bay. Oh, Saldana Bay. Yeah, they're gonna work that side for a month or two, then they're gonna come back to this side, and everybody work on this side. Okay. For the crayfish. Wow, there we go. Very nice. Okay, must tighten the line, eh? Mm. Just wait for it. Wait till they bite. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Aja. Okay. And is there something there? Let him take again. He's never fished in the sea, you see. He's oh. just like seven years old. Done some fresh water fishing. Some I see. Yeah. Wait till they bite. Just wait. 
Yeah, he's gonna take you down. <laughs> <laughs> he's used to the spinners. Okay. You guys got anything today? No, we just got here about 20 minutes ago. Okay, okay. Well, he's a quick learner, you can see. He's got the knack of it. Yeah, he, he normally goes with a closed coffee grinder. Oh, the closed one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Bait is still there. Sardine for bait, eh? Uh, poultry, yeah. yeah. Okay. And mussels. Okay. So what do you know about the fishing in this area? Maybe you can share a little bit. What have you experienced? Species? Okay. Here's a guy with a snapper. He used to come out to the water. Okay. Yes. And, uh... Over that side, that this side, and you have two hooks on you, catch two stumpers at a time. Wow! But yeah, those days are gone. They used to yeah. once a year coming and just catch more stumpers. Good sizes, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and big, bigger sizes. Okay. It's not one of those fishing stories, you know. The fisherman's tail, yeah. yeah fisherman's My fish was this big. Yeah, all well, fishermen's tails. Yeah. Yeah. Fishing is just, you know, so therapeutic, it makes you calm, you it know. Is, and, eh? That's what we love about it. Hey guys, today we're at uh, Calc Beach. Uh, yeah, we're standing on the pier here. Um, absolutely beautiful place. Uh, we just had some fish and chips at uh, Calc's. And uh, this area is False Bay, known as False Bay. Um, but yeah, what a pleasant uh, atmosphere out here. It's just been absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for an authentic fish and chips experience, um, this is the place to be. And uh, we also was able to meet a couple of the of the local fishermen here and uh, see what kind of fish that they were catching. So uh, yeah, it is day two of our trip here uh, to Cape Town. And uh, yeah, really, really good and exciting day so far. So stay tuned for more. If you've enjoyed this content, um, please give it a like, share, and of course subscribe to the channel um, and yeah so we'll catch you on the next one so take care guys bye